I'd say. <laughs> it is death. Here he is. Oh! Woo! All right, I'll see you guys around the fire. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another one. We are out here right now chasing giant, giant crabs. The problem that I have right now is, is an incoming tide. Where I'm standing right now, this is actually gonna be all underwater and we've got a massive strong wind coming in about two to three hours. So we've got to move our asses, we've got to try to find the biggest crabs we possibly can, start a fire, have a feed on the beach, all in the next two to three hours. I don't know if this is gonna be possible, but let's jump straight into this challenge. Big mud crabs, let's go see if we can find a couple of holes, stick the hook down, stick our hand down, and grab out a monster crab. <laughs> have a go at that. Now that is what I call a crab hole. That is the crab hole of crab holes. Oh, it's deep, man. This hole's real deep. It goes from my elbow all the way to the end of that pole there. So that hole is that deep. Doesn't feel like anyone's home. There's no way you'd be able to get your hand in there to pull a crab out, but you've got to use a stick in this situation. Ah, it's deep. Doesn't feel like anyone's arm. Wearing a white shirt definitely wasn't the best idea, but every other shirt I have in the car smells like roadkill right now. This is the only clean shirt that I had. Well, that I had, now it's a pigsty. This shirt's gonna be a mess by the time I finish. Look at this. This water is, this water's really, really pushing in. This is where I was standing before. You can see my footprint just here. This was all dry. Look how fast that tide's pushing up. We don't have much time out here, doggies. We don't have much time at all. We've got to go find a couple of crabs. Come on, we've got to get, we've got to get moving. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. There's another hole right there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> come here. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. We just want to show the field day fam. Come here. Look at this little fella. This is called a mud skipper. Can you see his little eyes just there? They're the most epic looking little creature. They jump around here on the mud flats. They're such a sick little creature. Look at, look at the eyes on that thing. Little googlies, man. Look at him. Sick little creature. All right, buddy, you can go away now. Go on. Boom, 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 boom. It's empty. When these crab holes like fill up with this silty sort of stuff, that means that there's nothing inside. This one's empty. That's no good. All right, keep moving. Wow, you're a big dog. What's happened to you? This is a dead crab. What's happened, mate? That's a good claw. Look at that. That's a big claw, big crab. Now this is the kind of a crab that we're after. He's a big dog. That claw is as big as me hand. He's a good crab, look at that. Beautiful crab, I don't know why he's died. He's missing one nipper, he might have been in war with another crab. He doesn't smell too bad. I'd, I would have, I'd say by the smell of it and by the color of it, it's still got, it's still, it's still got its green color. It doesn't smell too bad, it's starting to smell a bit off. Probably only been here for a day or overnight or died yesterday late afternoon. You probably, if you, were, if you wanted to be a real, real seagull, you could rip that claw off, that'd probably be full of food. But um, we'll leave this thing here, we'll let nat nature take its course. We'll keep moving. We've really got to keep punching on that tide. The tides around here are crazy, man. This tide's literally coming up here right now. That would, that's what we're after, doggies. A crab like that. All we need is one, one or two, we'll be done. Oh, let's go. Here's a cheeky, cheeky little crab hole. You can see all that dirt's been kicked up on the backside there. Look at this, it's starting to really fill up with water. All the crab holes are now starting to fill up with water as well. But this looks like a decent crab hole. Let's stick our stick in there, or stick our little hook in there. See if we have any luck. Hopefully it's not too deep. All right, we've got a crab in this hole here. It's a hard one as well. It's not an easy hole to man it maneuver. It's way too deep to stick my arm down there. The crab is just around to the left hand side of the hole, but you can hear it through the steel rod. Come on, come on. Oh, there he is there. 
Here he is, here he is. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what we, oh, that's good. Good crab, good crab. Look at that. Here's a good crab. Yeah, he come out of there. That took a long time. Let's give him a little bit of a wash. He's a beautiful crab. Look at the claw on him. He's big. He's only got the one claw. He's a big crab. Look at him. He's a big buck. You can see that he's a nice crab. He's got the purple coming through on his shell there. One big chomper of a claw. He's a very, very nice crab. Then on a closer inspection, you can see the where the other claw was here, that he's actually just dropped that claw as we're trying to get him out of here, which means in this hole is the second claw. And as you guys know, the claw of a mud crab is the lollipop. That is the part of the crab that you want to be eating. It's the big juicy claw. So I'm going to chuck my hand. I'm going to chuck this fella down here. I'm going to dig my hand back into the hole, see if we can pull out that second claw that is dropped. And that's, that's what I really want. I want to have a good feed like that. Sometimes there's females in these holes. And if you get a female in the hole, she'll attack you because females are aggressive, dude. Yeah, got it, got it. <laughs> Look at this. That is the second claw. That's a, that's gonna be so good to eat. So we've got one big crab claw here. Look how strong these are, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The strength that this claw has, it's not even connected to the crab anymore. And the strength that, crawl, that claw has, incredible. All right, we've got a bloody good crab. We've got a good claw, we've got a crab with two claws. Let's keep pushing on, see if we can get something else. This is good. We're off to a crack and start here. Here's a good crab. Check this out here. See how this pond's a little bit more muddy than the surrounding water? That means, and a little bit over here too. That means that there's something in here. See if you guys can see where that crab is. I can see his claws right there. Right there are two big crab claws. That is a crab sitting right now in this hole. See if we can, oh yeah, here he is. Look at him, he knows we're here already. Hey, big dog. Here we go, look at that. He's just sitting in this little shallow pool here. This has got to be one of the most aggressive crabs. I've done nothing to annoy this crab. He's just not in a good mood, man. He's trying to rip me and nip me every, every angle that he can get. But he's a good crab. He's a beautiful crab. He's a big buck. He's got the also, he's got that nice green on him there. Look, I'm not going to piss him off too much. We've got one crab. All right, mate, stay good, stay cool, enjoy the tide. We've got a fire to start. Let's go, doggies. We're going to go start a fire. All right, this is just going to be enough firewood to start a fire to cook this crab. We are racing the time right now. The wind still hasn't come in. I can still feel it feathering, but it's not in yet. So let's start cooking up this crab. I'm so excited about this. That there is some of the best tinder to get a fire started. You'll find it all just washed up or blown up around here. Look at this, little bits here. This is the tinder to get a fire started. Real good stuff. It just gets blown around and caught up on these trees here. Here we go, look at that. A little bit more. This is what you want to find. That is tinder. Here we go. The best tinder going. We're just gonna put this little tinder pile straight under our sticks here. Make sure we've got a couple of nice small sticks. All right, in my back pocket, got a little secret trick here. The Leatherman and the Flint. Let's get this fire started. Go on, there we go. Look at that, two strokes and it's away. Go. Go, go, go. That is the best stuff to start a fire. Look at that. All right, I can smell this crab. Boom. Look at this. This is the definition of living. We've got a pumping fire down here. Look at that. We're about to cook our breakfast, or maybe it's about lunch, but we're about to cook a feed on there. The troop dog, 
look at this thing man i've been out bush for a few weeks now and um she's seen better days it has been a lot cleaner than it is right now there is stuff absolutely everywhere in the back of this car i love it like this now inside this pantry is where we want to be right now we're going to make a little bit of a concoction we're going to need this frying pan here we'll chuck that down there and we're going to need a couple of things chopping board big juicy chili an onion garlic and i'm stocked up eh, on this trip a little bit of coconut cream and um what else we got now let's have a look at this mixed herbs that'll do Nah, curry powder. That's it. That's all we need. Oh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper. A little bit of oil. Look at this, man. Look at that. That is a beautiful looking chili. I forgot one very, very important thing. We need a knife. This big dog. There we go, baby. Let's go. Look at the colour of this shirt, man. This was a brand new white shirt this morning. Now look at the colour of it. It is brown, dude. How good is that? This was my last clean shirt I've got in the car. And I've got about another week on the road. So I'm going to have to go and uh, jump into a caravan park or something like that. Do some washing. Originally, I was going to do this crab as like a just straight in the coals. And then I went into the pantry and I'm kind of stocked up out here. So what we'll do is we're going to make chilli crab. Usually when I'm out here with Mac 10, our favorite way to do crab is like do a dipping sauce, boil the crab, then you can like dip it into the dipping sauce. That is usually our favorite way, but today what we're going to do is we're going to make actually like chili crab. It's going to be bloody good. Here we have about five or six cloves of garlic. You can never have enough garlic. Well, it wouldn't be a chili crab without chili. So what I'm probably gonna do is here, I'm just gonna chuck in this whole chili. Let's just cut this whole entire thing up. <sighs> Look at this. Star pickets. Tent pegs, I mean. In here. Boom. Axe. Let's go. when I started doing these star pickets but it is the best thing you can ever do when you're out here camping I do it literally every time I cook now three star pickets on the bottom of a cast iron pan boom look at that it's actually the best thing ever they're tiny they pack away they don't take up room in your car and it's just you can get it perfectly level game changer chili onion garlic is gonna go straight in oh listen to it I'm gonna brown these up on the fire. Coconut cream time. That's gonna go straight in on there. Oh! Now the party's really starting. If you could smell this already, you'd be drooling all over yourself. A little bit of salt and pepper. We'll bust that in there. Good old fashioned curry powder. That's gonna go straight in now. Don't be scared. Mixed herbs. A little bit of mixed herbs. Never hurt anyone. Now we'll just give that a good old fashioned stirring. Oh, it's starting to thicken up. We've got a curry sauce down there bubbling away. This juicy crab claw, look at that. What we're gonna do is just bust them open. You don't wanna have a big crack. Just enough to let the juices open him up. There we go. Just enough to let those juices infuse these big claws. Here's another one. Boom. Boom. That's it. It's all we need. One on this little nugget here. Boom. That's it. And then with the crab legs, what I've done with the crab, I've cleaned it. I've split it in half. Crab legs. I'm going to crack every single one of the crab, crab, crab legs. That's gonna get all the flavors infused into the crab legs. I'm starving, this is gonna be good. Straight over to our simmering pot of goodness. 
guys in all of this. Oh man. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna chuck a little bit of water in here just so I, cause it's getting a little bit thick. But man, this is gonna be good. I've had to change over that cast iron pan to a camp oven. So now what's happening inside that oven is, well, it's acting like an oven, hence the name. It's just getting really hot in there. It's bubbling, the sauces are doing their thin thing. So the big crab is now in that oven. It's gonna cook a lot. I should have done that to start with, to be honest, but you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, the flames are getting pushed across here. The wind is really starting to pick up. We're actually making good time. We've got about another couple of minutes, 40 minutes, maybe that wind is gonna be howling. So we gotta go, but we're on the cook. Camp oven has been taken off the fire. 10 pegs have been taken off. It is sitting down here, cooling down. Have a go, ready? Oh, this is gonna taste unbelievable. All right, it would be rude not to start with a lollipop or a claw. This one's a little bit bashed up. That's the claw right there. Look at the bit of meat hanging out of it. Oh, it just pulls away. Big bit of meat right here. What I'm gonna do is get that shell off there. That is just a chunk of crab meat. I'm gonna dip it into that sauce on the bottom. Look at this, look at this. Oh my, oh my goodness. No, oh, it is infused, chilly. It's got everything going on in there. Get that bit out there. No. Oh. When you're eating crab like this, a pair of pliers is essential. You want to be able to crack and pop and snap that shell. Oh, just like that. And you get these beautiful, look at that bit of meat right there. <laughs> Straight in the sauce. Straight in the big gob. Oh man. It is really good. Unbelievable. Phenomenal. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. We've got a lollipop coming up. We have got a big lollipop here. I'm gonna get all the juices up that side of the pot there. This is a lollipop if you've ever seen one. There we go. Big lollipop covered in chili creamy crab. This is gonna be good, man. Ready? Oh, look at that. Look at that. It doesn't get any better. Here we go. Oh! It's all about that flavor right there. My God. That wind is definitely starting to pick up. You can see that water in the background over there getting super choppy and all blown up. We made it though, mission complete, we've done it. We got a crab in time before the wind came in, started a fire, cooked a hell of a feed down here. And um, this is me for the rest of the day. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna polish this crab off and I'm gonna go on another adventure. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next video, doggies. Much love and thank you so much for watching. Look at this feed, man. Oh, it's living. See ya, doggies. Ow. Woo, I smell like daisies right now. I just had one of the best bush showers I've had in a long, long time. Probably would have pumped about 50 liters of water over my body. I am clean. I've got the drone up in the air chasing me. I'm going bush. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Much love, doggies. This is way too much fun. Ow.